Hello everyone, Chris Martinson of Peak Prosperity. It is Friday, February 2nd, 2018. Hey, uh, you know, it's 2.50-ish here in the afternoon as I'm recording this. The Dow is down 550 points roughly at this particular moment. What does this mean? We don't know. Look, the central banks have rescued things over and over again. But as I've just written in a two-part report uh, that's coming out today, a little bit later today, there's a lot of headwinds here. There's some real noise in the markets we need to look at. I'm not just talking about the, the headline stock markets. That's what gets reported on all the news. But if you look beneath the surface, interest rates have been rising even as the dollar has been falling. This is a really interesting development. There's a lot of explanations, and maybe it's just as simple as, uh, you know, the central banks are unwinding their massive QE program. Well, unwinding them. What are they doing? They're buying a little less than they did the day before. Um, they're not below zero on, on that measure. Uh, and that lack of buying pressure from the central banks combines with uh, the massive amounts of new deficits that the United States is racking up in two quarters. Another $650 billion of new debt, two quarters, being issued by the United States government, just like this astonishing flood. So where does that all get absorbed? Well, if it doesn't all get absorbed, interest rates go up. But the dollar's falling, too. This could be consistent, as I've written and talked about recently, with this idea, which is that somebody, <laughs> China, somebody is uh, walking away from the United States as a place to keep their money. And it works like this. You would first take all your treasury holdings and you would sell them. So as you sell treasuries, the price of those goes down, which means the yields go up because they work opposite. The second thing is now you have dollars and you don't want dollars, say, so you sell those too. If you have a large institutional, I mean, very large institutional, like a sovereign wealth fund, or you have a large entity like a sovereign state walking away from U.S. assets, and they are selling treasuries and dollars, you would see both rising yields as well as a falling dollar. Now, we're seeing both of those right now, and the United States is in a really turbulent political climate right now. It's very uncertain how this is all going to turn out. There was a memo that was just released today, which basically shows that the FBI knew that there was a dossier that had been um, heavily biased, shall we say, in its creation, funded by the Democratic uh, national convention somehow the, the party somehow and uh, put together by a person who was very rapidly anti-Trump listen nothing wrong with any of those things you can put together dossiers all you want but what isn't cool is if you are in the law enforcement business and you take a known bias source and you use that to go to a FISA judge to get a warrant to begin wiretapping people uh, using that as your probable cause that that's pretty much not cool so that's going to create all kinds of political drama, and uh, that certainly is, is uh, something that could be impacting the markets as we look forward here. But really, the things that I'm tracking right now that matter the most are rising interest rates. Listen, mortgages are up a quarter point in just this month. Um, auto loans are more expensive. You know, both those headwinds to the big two of the U.S. economy, housing and autos, that's going to have an impact too. Now, the story is everything's great. Everything's awesome. Boeing, Caterpillar, Amazon, uh, you know, all the earnings are up. And yet uh, here we're seeing some signs that maybe, maybe there's some headwinds to this story. So, hey, I was going to tell people as, as well about the seminar that Adam and I are having, as I did last time, but no no pitch this time. It's already sold out. It's astonishing, uh, the fastest uh, uh, sellout we've ever had and, and uh, you know, months in advance. So, we're really excited for that, and we're going to be talking about all of these things because if these markets are selling off the way I think, what do you need to do? You need to be building up your eight forms of capital. That's what we talk about in the book Prosper. Financial capital, hey, I talk about that a lot. That's what a lot of people care about, uh, both sides of the aisle. It doesn't matter what persuasion you're at. You know, We all care about making sure that our money is safe and working for us as best we can. But there are seven other forms of capital. And when times get turbulent, you need to have your emotional capital in place. You need to have your social capital in place. These are all things that uh, just take time to work on. So those are the sorts of things I think you should be looking at. I am personally using this opportunity to make sure that all of my other preparations are topped off and good to go. 
So that's it. Tons of stuff going on. Way too much to really analyze. But, you know, come by peak prosperity. We're going to be talking about these market declines because this is we haven't had a decline like this in a long time. So is this it or is this just a little speed bump and we pick up and keep going? We need to know. All right. With that, I'm Chris Martinson. I will see you next week.